that section of those game locker rooms? Uh, really just to keep executing and playing hard like we did in the game. Um, kind of struggled a little bit defensively, made a couple mistakes that we shouldn't have. Um, I think we do a really good job of going over everything that we need to do and scout report and prior to the game, but sometimes just when we get to the game, we make mistakes. Josh, you've talked a lot about wanting to come to Kansas to play with some of these guys. How much fun are you having playing with, with Devontae and Frank? Oh, so team? much fun. They make the game so much easier. Uh, not going to lie, sometimes I'm able to even take plays off. I won't even get back. When it's a fast break or something because I know those guys. I trust them so much to score. Frank, you've just been consistently good about it as anybody in the college basketball this year. What's, what's been the key to your early start so far? My teammates, coaching staff, just, just trusting the game plan and executing. Josh, I'm sure you didn't anticipate playing maybe as much more as you have thus far. How, what's the process kind of like getting used to, to playing that many guards on the court? And how much are you guys like kind of figuring it out as you go? And kind of what do you think? It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, when I'm out there playing the floor, it's not like I'm, you know, playing with my back to the basket. You know, I'm still out there playing as if I was a guard. But uh, just that lineup is just so versatile and hard to guard. And if we just move the ball, it makes the game so much easier. Frank, what did you think of Josh's passing ability against the zone when he got it in there? It was great. He made the right decision almost every play. And, um, you know, he's good every time we put him right there at the uh, high post area. You know, just got to keep them in that same spot and, you know, hopefully you keep making good plays. Josh, is that by design that you, you've got that same bucket? Last night it was a dunk, tonight it was kind of a little bank floater. Is that by design or just trying to get you involved in the game right away or, or just how it goes? Uh, I don't know. It's just whatever coach makes the play call, you know, I follow it. And that was the play call he made tonight. Okay. So, and it worked out, you know. I trust him to put me in the right position, you know, where I feel comfortable and able to score. And he did a really good job of that tonight. What do you guys think of playing zone defense yourself? Uh, we haven't really done it much, so it was kind of new to us. But, you know, obviously it worked. Um, for our pride a little bit, we really wanted to play man. But, you know, to win the game, it was more about winning the game. We had to go zone. You guys happy to be done with uh, this, all this traveling, I guess, at the beginning of the year that's been kind of constant, I guess? Uh, this is what we signed up for. We were excited about every game, every trip, and we're looking forward to Friday. Uh, Coach said he wanted to get you less minutes today, but was that was that a thought at the end of the game at all there? I'm not sure. Um, Coach, you know, he, he knows what he's doing, and um, we trust in him, and I think he want to keep me out there for as long as he can, and, you know, um, he obviously had to keep me out there today, and it worked out pretty well. Hey Josh, do you like being at the high post in the zone, getting the ball there? Oh, yeah, definitely. I um, feel like I can find open guys on the floor. My teammates, uh, Svee's out there. He's knocking down threes, Devontae, Frank, and, um, you know, dumping the ball down low. It's just fun being <laughs> in that spot because I get to be the guy who decides where the ball goes. Is that pretty new to you? I don't know how much. A little bit, so yeah, it's pretty new. Hey Frank, uh, how much have you guys practiced zone, and what did you think of how effective it was tonight? Um, it worked really well for us, and we didn't practice. We don't practice it that much. Maybe uh, you know uh, five to ten minutes at the end of every practice. So um, it worked pretty well for us. You know, hopefully we don't have to use zone again, and we take pride in guarding our man and just try to play man to man the whole game. Frank, can you describe the, the minutes Colby gave you today? Uh, he was great. You know, he, he made a few mistakes, but, um, you know, it's just good to have him out there and, you know, have him get a feel for the game. Um, I think his dad traveled all the way from the Bahamas, so it was great for his dad to see his son out there, and we all happy for him, and hopefully he can, you know, uh, get in the rotation moving forward. Frank, talk about going up against J.J. Frazier. Um, he's one of the more shifty guards in college. Uh, he's a good guard. Um, he couldn't get going tonight um, because – we had a good strategy and we played um, decent defense and, you know, um, he's a good guard, sorry to say. Anything else, guys? Josh, when you guys went in the zone, how did Coach word it? Did you just, since you don't practice as much? I think he really just, you know, was trying it and when he put us out there, it seemed like it was working. So, you know, we figured why come out of it, don't fix it if it's not broke. Josh, Frank is off to a great start with what, what does it make 
to separate him from maybe some of the other guys? Anything you see that? Definitely his toughness. You know, Frank's got a lot of heart. Um, his ability to just drive to the basket, put his head down to get in there. And um, for a guy his size, I've never seen anybody be able to finish around the basket as well as he has. All right, folks.